This is lesson 103, number 4, and it says the pressure of an ideal gas varies inversely with the volume if the temperature is constant. So pressure varies inversely as volume. So inverse, remember inverse variation is like this. Um, inverse goes y equals k over x. That says y varies inversely as x. So this says pressure varies inversely as volume. The temperature is held constant the whole time, so I can actually just ignore the temperature. Um, so I, I know you probably wanted to plug in um, the 500, but it's not necessary because it keeps saying every time that we do something it says the temperature is still 500, so you don't have to use that. Um, the pressure was so when the temperature was 500, the pressure was 4, so I put that in for pressure. And the volume was 10, I put that in for volume, and then I just want to solve for K. So if you multiply both sides by 10, you get K is 40. Then I went ahead and grabbed my original formula, but I put in 40 for K. And then it said, it asked me a question about um, what would be the pressure when the volume was 2, so I plugged a 2 in for volume. That's going to give me the pressure. Well, 40 over 2, that's 20 atmospheres. So you can, if you want to, just ignore, as long as the, pr the um, temperature stays the same, you're allowed to just ignore it. And they probably put that 500 in there just to, maybe to mess with you. Or maybe because you know something about science and they wanted to make the problem more realistic.